wrapped up a video showing you guys some things that I got in for Black Friday from the Black Friday sales. And even though I didn't show you guys everything, I think I showed you guys quite a bit of things. All right, so welcome back to my Glomus videos. I did a quick change. I just had on like a two really fluffy, dramatic top <laughs> covering over this um, slit dress. And I decided to change it because I was pulling and yanking at that thing the entire video. It was so annoying. And I probably annoyed you guys as well. Anyway, loved the look but it should probably just be used for filming or I may need to use a pin next time. So I had the two um, top attached with these little clips that's from my hair. They, they're all here, here clips, here pins or whatever you want to call them. And uh, they were not, the, yeah, they were not the, the correct tool for what I wanted. But it served the purpose. If it was, it would have served the purpose if I just wanted to take a few photos. But all that moving and picking up stuff and holding, yeah, wasn't, yeah, that was not the right, that was not the right thing to wear. But So now I'm going to show you just a few beauty items that I received recently. I'm going to start with the black owned brand. Alrighty, so I haven't opened this one yet, but it came from one of my favorite black owned beauty brands, skincare brands, um, body brand. <laughs> everything brand because I think they also do hair hair products as well like hair oil or something but anyway let me get my glasses because I'm gonna want to read this all right so this is from Nicole Avani and I partnered with Nicole Avani a few times during 2022 so the person behind this brand's name is Christine Christine has been a joy to work with I created a video for them when they first launched um, well not the very initial launch but very very early on with the brand and I I was honored that it chose me to represent them and I love their products there's one of their items that I have that I've used for all of the winter last year and I've ran out and I had to purchase another one and when she when I saw this I was like I hope that another one is in here but honestly I don't know because I haven't opened the packages yet but I wanted to read what she said she said hey Gloria happy holidays your support over these last couple of years has been amazing I don't know what I did to deserve it but I'm grateful beyond measure I hope you enjoy the new products so apparently they have new products um I hope you enjoy the new products Stay glowing, XO Christine. So they have new products. I think I may have seen one um, on IG, but I don't know what else they may have here. So we are about to find out. Guys, please support your black home brands. I've started to use like my lotions and stuff. I don't buy from the quote unquote well-known brands or the brands that everyone else is using. I usually use from brands like Nicole Avani. I also have a black one brand that I, the Shea products. And I just purchased another Shea product from the Sip and Shop event that I went to. That smells amazing. It's like this white chocolate whipped butter. Oh. Not only is it leaving my skin soft and shining and glowing, but it smells amazing. I will leave the name of that brand here on the screen. But we're talking about Nicola Bonnie, so let me not get carried away with the other stuff. Okay, so we have the Rejuvenating Body Elixir. I think I... Is this new? I had an oil, a body elixir. This one is called Fallen Rose. This is definitely new. So it nourishes and hydrates and smoothens. It's a very big size bottle. And this is perfect for now. So basically, if I have... A regular lotion I will add, add oil to it and if my Shea uh, product is not giving me shine that I want I also add oil but so far most of the ones I have give me that shine but I do love a good oil for the winter time especially as soon as you come out of the, the shower it's good to just put some oil 
on your skin while your skin is still damp so that it soaks into your skin. I love a good oil. I absolutely love the smell. This is the Buttercream Body Moisturizer. Guys, my skin gonna be lit for the rest of the winter. Next up is an exfoliating body cleanser. It's called Spiced Orchard. It buffs away rough dry skin for a clean, silky, smooth, radiant skin. Now there's another product that they have that is very similar to this that I emptied, like killed it, emptied it out. And I needed another. I cannot tell you how good this smells. If you like that citrusy smell, this is the one for you. It really does smell like an orchard, like you're out there and you're picking some like oranges or something. That's the smell that you're gonna have when you open this. The final item in the package is the scalp elixir. Now this I used before. And I, I, I well, when it comes to my hair, more is more. I don't. I actually probably overuse products when it comes to my hair. If you want something that is good for your scalp, the rejuvenating scalp elixir is good. The reason why I haven't picked up another one is because I get so many products from the brand that I work with, um, Meditress, that I haven't had a need to pick this up. If you're looking for a product to soothe, nourish, and to revitalize your scalp, this will be a great product. All right, next up is Eye Method Beauty. Now I haven't used this yet. This is a brow lamination kit. I will figure it out and I will film how it works. They also sent me a winged eye kit, which I did use. I used it about two or three days ago and I filmed that process as well. I'll probably insert that here so you guys can see what it looked like. I don't really need help with the wing eye, but I think for those who have difficulty creating that wing eye, that, that would be a great addition to your beauty collection. So I went to an event at Bergdorf with some of my friends and we got a little care bag and I cannot wait to see what's in there. Guys, all this time I have this thing and I never open it up. I have so so little time on my hands, my hands sometimes. Like if I didn't have to stop and show you guys this, this will probably stay up in this bag for another week or something. So I knew that this bag was in there. I just don't know what's in the bag. It just says BG Rocks. I love it. It's a huge bag, right? And the bag also has this Chanel package. Don't know what's in there. La Durie. Oh my goodness. La Durie. All right, hopefully you're picking it up. But this is the same restaurant that we went to with Laura Gello. I have no idea what's in here. Oh my gosh. Guys, there's macaroons. Like, I've had these sitting here for like a week. Oh my God. I love, love, love macaroons. Guess what? Sis is about to eat one right now. See why I got that extra inch on my. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> so I was way more excited about those than I were about the beauty items. It says YJ12. It's a watch. But Anyway, I guess they're just advertising it. They included it in the bag at Bergdorf. Obviously, this is a part of their sales tactics. <laughs> it looks like it's a mirror, a Chanel mirror. Cute. Next up is the Radiance Repair Retinol Serum. And this is by Eve Blom. I have never heard of them. I'm trying to move fast, a little faster. Next up is Pat McGrath Labs Divine Skin. Actually, my sis gave me this, Kiki. Kiki gave me a sample of this the other day. 
Next up is uh, Mumbai Noise. That's a perfume Mumbai Noise. Okay, got a lot of perfumes right now. I'm not one of those people who freak out over perfumes, by the way. I like a good scent, but I am not like, I'm not obsessed with perfumes at all. So now we have 111 Skin. This is Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Booster. Needless to say, I'm covered when it comes to skin. <laughs> when it comes to skincare products, I am covered, y'all. Next up is Augustina's Bader, the eye cream. I have never heard of this brand before. It looks like lipstick samples. Comes in this little packet. I actually like the colors. So guys, I'm gonna try these ones for you and let you see what it looks like on my lips. This bag has a ton of stuff. Let me know when you get bored. Maybe fast forward, cause I, I don't know. This is a foaming cleanser. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna speed it up guys. And then we have, this is a lip balm by Strom. A Dior mascara. Oh my God, that's so funny. Today I was about to buy a Dior mascara, but I need the Dior primer. Bio Effect Imprinting Eye Mask. Uh, hair ties. I thought I was doing more of those for my hair. Revive Mask. Foundation Samplers by Westmont Atelier. Almost there. All day, all year. Cream, and this is by Sisley. This is an anti-aging and protectant. Then we have Costa Brazil Body Cream. It's a decent amount. This is the Time Response Skin Revive Cream. This is way too much skin product. I am not gonna be using all of these. For Tuna Skin, it's a moisturizing oil in this little packet. And then finally, Orib, Orb, O-R-I-B-E. Orib or Orb. I don't know, my battery's about to die, but. This is Gold Lust Transformative Mask. Guys, that is it. Bag is empty. I showed you all of the things that I got in beauty for the season so this girl is done she's fried i will be back guys um i don't know if this is going to be a video by itself or if it's going to be a part of another video but i want to thank you so much for sitting through this sit down talk through going through whatever i got in terms of beauty i appreciate you guys so much um i look forward to seeing you in my next below this video don't forget to like subscribe and share Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.